All right, guys, welcome to another episode of a film review. This is Ryan Ramscheck. We're doing number 71. There's some good things, bad things, and I want to preface it by I'm not a professional film reviewer whatsoever. I don't do this for a living. I do this for fun because I want to learn a little bit more about football, and you guys probably will watch this because I know a lot, not a lot of people have access to this sort of film, and make your own judgments. So make your own judgments. I have my own judgments. So they're playing the Eagles. This is uh, Taysom Hill that's going to be at the helm. And uh, he does some good things, obviously he does some good things and bad things. So what I do notice him on him on this play, so he uh, does make a good adjustment. He reads, he knows that he's on a, either wide 9 or 7 tech, this defensive end. But uh, his hand placement is not that good here. Uh, he, he allows the defender to get to the inside and allows to get bull rush a little bit. But when he, he regathers, he, cro he crosses his feet, notice, over end over end right here a little bit. But he anchors, anchors down just fine. And, uh, yeah. Now, a problem in college, apparently, with him was a thin frame. I don't really see it that much. But I do notice he does not want to get beat on the outside. Sometimes he gets beat on the inside. That's what we see later. Also, he does get out of balance sometimes. I don't know what it is here. You guys can, like, let me know what he does right here. That kind of let, helps him get out of balance. Maybe it's his, he doesn't anchor down his left foot right here. Uh, I don't know, but it kind of, kind of makes him a little bit off balance and not be able to get generate a push for the running back. Okay, here we go. Next play, he's on the move a little bit. What I do notice is sometimes he gets off the line of scrimmage really fast. And we'll see him get a penalty uh, eventually. He does get off the line of scrimmage really fast, that quick burst. I like it. Pushing the guy out of the way, that strength, the, a person mover. Hands on the left shoulder, good job. Or right, his right shoulder. So notice this stance is a little bit different this time. So he can, he can do a bunch of different stances. Gets out of his uh, stance real well, choppy feet, doesn't cross them, and he kind of lets the outside a little bit here. So if, if I'm this defensive end, I just rip him, rip and pull, and that'd be it. Uh, but he decides to do, um, he does a bull rush him. I don't know, I would just try to get around him because he's opening up his hips right there to get like, beaten around. But he does a good job with the strong grip. And by the way, most of the film is going to be just two games because that's all I watch him. I'm not going to watch every single game. I'm not. I don't get paid enough to do this. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so double team. So what they do is they want to double team this guy right here, 62. Double team him, and then work on to I think this linebacker, or that might be the tight end's responsibility. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't really do a good job finishing this block if he is sticking with this guy. Um, but yeah, he does. He does a good enough job there. Also, I do, I do think you notice is he's standing up a little bit too much for me. I don't know. So here we go. He has his eyes on this guy. I think he's, he's like, okay, I'm going to help 62 if I need it. Sees that they're doing a stunt right here and picks it up well. But I think if this defensive end is executed better, I think this might be Vinny Curry, like an old guy. Like, that guy's running straight around. I think this is executed better. Like, you have three guys blocking one guy. That's not good. I think he comes on a little bit too late there. I mean, I think if he's athletic, you get it. All right, so now he's going to be on the left side because they switched quarters on us. It, it does a good job right there blocking Fletcher Cox. What I do notice as well, he's not like a, a people people mover, but this is Fletcher Cox. So it's going to be hard to move him. But uh, yeah, so it's fine. Does Right here, he does a good job with the hand fight. Wait, he's patient. He's always patient with his hands. Waits, waits. He tries to swipe. Strong hands right there. Strong hands. Uh, he allows him to get to his breastplate. Gets to his breastplate, but he also has control of him. And he's big, so he wins that. All right, here he is on the left again against Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox can't really get... I mean, he allows him to get inside a little bit. But, you know, he, he just controls him from the top. I don't really like that the top hand thing. I'd rather control him, like, down low and up. But still does a good job. Okay, so this one's not really that important. He's he's on he's gonna be on the move here, but he, he what I notice he is pretty slow. This just in general, he's not gonna blow anybody with his forty. But you could say the same thing about Orlando Brown. I made a whole video about that. Yeah, he's not fast enough. It's fine. You don't need to be uh, Usain Bolt as a tackle. You just need to you know have good have have good form, understand counters. He uh you know he he's there. He drops into his pass rush bush set. I think. He allows this guy to get to his inside too much, right? He's on the inside. So if you're a strong dude, you just bull rush him. Maybe he knows that he's strong, so he knows he can be susceptible to that. But, uh, you know, patient hands, boom. Sometimes he drops his head a little bit too much for my liking, too. 
Now here he is on the move once again. Notice how fast he gets off the line pretty quickly. This one actually he doesn't, and he gets you know beat on the inside, and his guy almost gets a tackle. So there he is, walling him off. Good job. I just want to see tighter hand grip there and just control him longer. Get that. You know their running back's running this way. Step, put your left foot, and anchor. I'm not sure the word's anchor, but make sure he doesn't. he's not able to make a play at all. This one, I think there was a miscommunication. A little bit, maybe, because see how number 61, he ends up kind of dropping back into coverage. So number 62 is guarding nobody. Uh, oh, actually, he, he goes to the outside first. He doesn't want to be on the outside. So now he's just, his eyes are on 75, and the number 31 runs free at Taysom Hill. Oh, was that an interception? Oh, wow. I mean, you could say that was almost caused by him, uh, partially, but there's another guy as well. Like, a guy with good bend and dip, which number 55 doesn't really have, I think can get around him at some spots. But you need to, I think he needs to be more aggressive here. Wash him out. Don't get anywhere near my freaking quarterback. Wash him out. Push him all the way outside. You're strong. It's just a battle thing. Patient hands, pinch hands. Head down. The defensive end has you. If he wants to bull rush you, he'll bull rush you. He has, right here, he does a good one-arm technique against 55. Um, you know, even hand battle to begin with. And then he uses long arms to, you know, fight him off. So he has a, here, here he is. And he basically, I said he liked to get off quick. And sometimes that burns him. Gets off quick. 75 is like, oh, I know what to do. Get to the inside. But he does kind of a good job recovering here. Uh, let's see how his feet are. He opens up. You, could, you almost want to anchor down and shut. I think the thing is you want to shuffle that way. Uh, but yeah, he basically just tries to drive him into the guard as quickly as possible. Just use his strength. And he kind of does that. Good. I, I would consider this a win. A pass rush rep. You keep you have your quarterback in a pocket. But again, that kind of hand. You take a look how he uses his hands. Alright, so uh, you get 75, gets on his breastplate. Pushes him back. So this is a third and one. They're already losing 17 nothing. You're trying to put points on the board. And, like I mentioned before, reacts a little bit early here. Right there. That's all it took. Penalty. So now it's third and six. You better be the reason why you get the first down here. 75. Nope. It wasn't really his fault. Whose fault was that? I'm just curious. Just on a... You know, we have to do uh, Ryan Ramchek the entire time, do we? Nice wash by that guard right there. It is flex your Cox. Push him back. Is that the... Okay, new drive. Fresh new set of downs. Does a good job just you know, getting Fletcher Cox out of the way. You're not going to get one near my quarterback. Push him in. That's fine. Here he is right here. Coming across. Washing him out. Good job. I like I like him out in space. That's what I got to say. I like him out in space. Find a guy. Pushing him out. I like that. Uh, this one, he just gets beaten by speed. See how he opened up his hips already just way too much? Open up. Uh, you're just you're already parallel to the what a perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. It just allows him to rip and bend. Um, I'm not sure how I recorded this one. It allows him to rip and bend. And uh, we got pressure on Taysom Hill, but Taysom is athletic, and you you know get it done. You know, take a look how quickly he gets off of this line of scrimmage. Boom. Is he the first one here? Pretty much. On the move it's to 61. Take a look how quickly he gets off the line of scrimmage here. Boom. That was pretty quick. 61 washes him out. But, you know, the guy makes a play, but that's a good block. There he is once again, working on, you know, favoring the outside a little bit. Knows his first move outside. Then he has his inside. Does a good job. There's really nothing. Like, they, I think Taysom might have assigned the blocking wrong. But there's something off about two guys blocking 61. I mean, that shouldn't be happening, right? Right? But yeah, Taysom does a good job knowing he's hot. Uh, actually, good job. But Taysom actually has a, kind of impressed me here. If you see two guys running here, so you know somebody's open. It's probably Camaro. So he's like, oh, there's a guy right there. Get some free yards. All right, so here he is, double team. They're double team up the Fletcher Cox. And they do a good job. You know, he does a good job working up. Number 61 passes him off to uh, Ryan Ramchek, and then he basically just tries to get him out of the way. I, I'll consider this a bad rep. So, hands patient. 75 gets his hands on the inside, and now he just pushes him back. Swim move. 
And now he does a good job kind of recovering because he's trying to get the guy's trying to get the sack. That's all Taysom moving out of the way. So this is a quick snap, hey, but still allows pressure. I mean, I, I guess people consider this a win because you know doesn't really get pushed back that much. All right, now he's on the right side. They switch fields finally. Here we go. It's easier to analyze. So now this is a screen. Take a look at this shit. Get out of the way. I like that. I mean, I usually blame the offensive lineman for not hustling butt like a Joe Staley, but, I mean, the play's out of his reach. Take a look at his drive right here. Keep the legs moving. Keep the legs moving. Keep the legs moving. But he's not getting too much push. Like, it seems like he's not even trying here in a way, right? He's almost too, like, technically sound. Just push the guy. I want to see some effort. I don't know. He might be tired or something. I don't know. This play, once again, gets kind of beaten to the outside by the rip move. And you, Taysom Hill gets freaking annihilated. Who was, who was that on the other side? The other side feels like it's getting up a lot of pressure. Is that Armstead? Is that a... Oh, he just misses his assignment. Yeah, just does his job. Not, not his fault. Again, what's up with this left side? Get your shit together, left side. Oh, shit. My bad. All of a sudden, like, zoom, zoom all the way back. Yeah, like Armstead. Come on. Be quicker than that, dude. Nah, I can't really do anything. I'm just shitting on Armstead. Armstead is my new uh, Orlando Brown. That is a pure pass rush set, and he gets beat to the inside by a speedy defensive back. But it up, but up, boom. Now you gotta use. Here's, he's tiny. Push him. Come on. Here he is. And he learns. The guy that tries to, or a different guy tries to do the same move, he learns. I think this might be the last play, where it's, you know, second to last. Yeah, be a bully. Yeah, there you go. He's either smaller than you. Beat him up. Okay, now just a little bit of a taste of the Denver Broncos. I want to see if, you know, it kind of happens multiple times. So he's on the move here. Good in the second level. Works on a guy, works on a guy. Nice blocking. Second level, he's great. Now it's him against, I think, Bradley Chubb. This one, I don't think it's a true pass rush set. You're going to be like, oh, we did good. But he kind of gets helped by 28 a little bit to control him. All right, now it's third and 12. Let's see what happens here. They just had a penalty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted me particularly to analyze it, uh, that's what he came here for. Step, step. Opens up the hips good enough. See, you're still not parallel. Okay. So here we go. Fresh set of downs. First and 10. Out in space. Locks him. I worry about when he's with Winston, the true pass rush sets him giving up a bunch of pressures. That's what I'm worried about. I don't know. That's, Taysom, I think he's fine with. Because Taysom can move. I think he'll struggle with Jameis as quarterback. That's what I'm seeing here. I Now you got some fast, fast speed rush here. What are you going to do? What are they going to do here? You know, he keeps his, you know, his left hand on the shoulder pad, locks it, locks it. It was a quick pass, though. Way to open up a hole on first, uh, fourth down. Way to open up a freaking hole. There we go. Yes. I like him in the run, man. I like him in the run. I just don't... I just don't trust him in the pass that much. I don't. Against speedy guys able to bend the edge, I don't really trust him that much. His hand place mirror is just off. You, you're, like, grasping him from around. I don't know. All right, so the video's coming to a close here. Um, we could put up his specific, uh, PFF stats and stuff, but that's not what I'm about. I'm about just, like, watching the film. So, yeah, I mean, decent tackle. He's a top half tackle in the league, but you have to pay for that. You have to pay for that. And, uh, I think it's an overpay, though. Um, they, they paid for a guy who's just average. It's gonna be a right tackle. I'm not too sure if it translates to the left, but I know on the right side, usually facing against better pass rushers than the left in general. Um, but yeah, it's not always the rule, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think he's worth it? I'd say he's worth like his actual value is worth like a $13 million contract. Definitely not 19. And the saints now are have to pay a lot of people still. And I, I don't think it's that, that worth it. I think you can find a Tristan worse. Actually don't grow on trees. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you.